If you've ever wanted to use SQL on your DynamoDB table, well now you can. DynamoDB supports an Amazon developed syntax language called Particle, sometimes also called PartyQL, where you can write SQL queries to interact with your DynamoDB table. And in this video, I want to show you how you can perform some common queries using the language. So I set up a table in advance. It's called the orders table, like you can see here. We have some very simple data. We just have an order ID, one through four. We have a customer ID, a order date, a uh, state of the order. It's either shipped or delivered, and a total amount, and it ranges with these values here. Um, so in order to access Particle to test this out through the console, by the way, this is also supported through the SDK or the CLI, uh, we need to go to this section over here where it says Particle Editor. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you have the old experience of the console, so the old uh, legacy version, you're not going to be able to see this menu. So you need to be on the new modern one, which I am right now. So I'm just going to leave this uh, tab actually and open up Particle in the tab that I've already uh, clicked that button. And this is what the default menu looks like. So you can see here over on the left hand side, you have all the tables that are in the account. Uh, if you expand this, you can see what the uh, partition key and any indexes that you have on the table. So in my case, I have a partition key, which is my order ID, and I have a customer ID as a global secondary index because we're going to want to query on that as well. You can expand this out uh, to see the partition key of that index as well. Anyways, if you want to do just some basic operations, you can click on this triple dot over here and this will give you the opportunity to do some different operations. Um, so you can just do a very basic scan table and you can already see the very familiar uh, SQL language right in front of us. So select star from orders. Let's give that a run. Uh, so this is gonna be doing a scan operation since we're doing a select star. And this is one of the things to keep in mind with Particle. Uh, it's not like it's doing something sophisticated behind the scenes. It's just turning your SQL query into a operation that DynamoDB already understands. So whether that's a scan, whether that's a query, uh, a query with a filter expression or an insert, all of those operations are being run in the back end, but the SQL query is going to determine what operations it's going to be running in the background. So after I ran that, you can see uh, the elapsed time pretty high, by the way. The performance in Particle is a little bit slower than what I would expect to see um, just using native DynamoDB operations. You can see 125 milliseconds for this. If I run it a couple more times, it should be uh, yeah pretty consistent. So 137, 150, that's fine. Um, and then we just get our data back here. So a select star is pretty straightforward. Let's see something a little bit more interesting. Uh, let's just do a where and let's say where our order ID is equal to one. So pretty simple as well. You can see here that we should get only the one result back where the order ID is one, like you can see there. So again, this is doing a get item operation. If you wanted to query for many other order IDs with different values, you can also do that. And that would be a query operation on the DynamoDB side. Now, if you wanted to do something, you know, where let's say the state of the order is like, I don't know, shipped or delivered or something. So let's say shipped. Now this is gonna do a scan operation and it's gonna have a filter expression where the state must be shipped. Now the unfortunate thing, and I actually must have made a mistake here, what's wrong? Uh, unsupported operation. I just ran the exact same thing again and I didn't modify it and now it's successful. Very odd, but um, I'm not sure why that happened. So you can see now we have the two results back, the two shipped ones. But the thing is, you're using that scan operation, the filter expression applied on top of it. And this comes to what I don't like about using Particle, which is the fact that you don't know which operation you're running behind the scenes. You kind of just need to know how it works. If you want to query on something that isn't an index or isn't the partition key, you're not going to know that it's not the partition key unless you understand the table setup. Uh, so that's one thing to be careful about. Also along that line is that you can craft an IEM rule that uh, prevents you from running scan operations with Particle. So probably during the creation step when you're creating your queries for your application, give yourself a rule that has that uh, permission set. I believe it's called like DynamoDB full scan or something like that. And you can look it up. But anyways, that'll restrict you um, from not performing queries that you scan behind the scenes. So uh, if that's a concern, you can try that out. All right, so that was a, a simple one again. I'm just gonna grab something here that I copied on the side to show another example. So that shows um, that we're using a scan operation. Let's do a little something more interesting. Uh, so state is shipped and order date 
is greater than February 28th. Um, this is the cool portion about DynamoDB is that you can do greater than operations on string text that are lexicographically sorted. So this should work. And yeah, so I get the uh, result set. So only orders with order dates uh, over February 28th are going to show up here. It's also something else to know, which is that you can tell it to use a global secondary index. Um, so let's try that out really quick. So let's say select star from orders dot customer ID. Now we have a customer ID index on this table, as you can see over here, uh, where it says global secondary index. And now let's say where customer ID is equal to, and let's say CID dash 100, because uh, we have a customer ID of 100. So this should return, I believe one or two results. There you go. So you have customer ID uh, 100 over here. Now, one thing that's interesting as well with the indexes is that I set up the indexes to only project one other variable besides the partition key, which is this one uh, on the table. Uh, so the particle queries also respect that. So if you set up projections uh, on your GSIs, then you're only going to get that subset that is defined as part of that projection. So just something to keep in mind. Um, it's respecting those rules on your DynamoDB table for particle in addition to just your normal flavor of queries as well. All right, so that is it for the selects. I just want to show you another quick example of an insert. Pretty easy. Um, so insert into orders with values order ID 5, customer ID this, blah, 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 blah. This is all in just a standard JSON object, which makes it super easy. I'm just going to go ahead and click on run now. And okay, that worked. Let's just check it out in our table over here. Perform that scan again. And yeah, now you can see we have a new order ID with order ID 5 and customer ID 999. Now it also supports updates as you would expect. So let's see that in action. Um, and I just again want to just drop something in here really quick. So we're going to say update orders. We're going to set the state to be delivered where the order ID is equal to 5. Let's try that out. Uh, so it was shipped before and it's going to turn to delivered. We see that it's been executed successfully. Let's hop back over to that other tab, refresh really quick, and you can see now it is indeed delivered. And if you want to delete, also pretty straightforward. Um, let's actually just type that one out. So it's delete from orders where order ID, order ID is equal to five. Okay, let's run that and completed. Checking that again, hop over. Yep, so there's no more order ID with uh, number five here. Now, just some other details as well that I wanted to share with you, some things that I like, don't like, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so like I said, it supports that scan operation limitation. So if you don't want people to be able to scan, you can define a IAM role that has DynamoDB full table scan equal to false, which will prevent people from performing scans with particle. Uh, also, this supports transactions. So you're able to do all or nothing transactions with particle. Uh, there's a specific syntax that you have to use that's available in the documentation as well. Uh, other things that I like about using Particle that I thought maybe you should consider if you're thinking about using this feature, uh, it makes migrations really easy if you're already a SQL user and you're you're able to port over some of those queries. Uh, makes it really, really easy because you're not kind of using DynamoDB native syntax to um, port over those queries, you can just use your SQL and it'll pretty much work uh, provided you operate within the constraints of Particle. Um, and it's also great from a learning perspective, makes it a lot easier if you're coming from SQL. Uh, DynamoDB is notoriously difficult in terms of the syntax, especially the more advanced use cases. So using Particle can alleviate that migration, just make it a little bit easier for you to get started. So that's it for this video. I hope this demo was useful. And if you liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.